all of our new King Cat mice and Keen eyes have either factory remanufactured or new engines. And I, I spend a lot of time with the owners relative to the break-in procedure. And the break-in procedure is really fairly simple. It runs for about 40 hours. Uh, we, run, we run mineral oil during that time. Um, and the big thing is you want to keep a lot of power on that motor to seat the rings in, but at the same time, you want to watch the temperatures. You want to keep the temperatures in check. So consequently, when we go out here and taxi out for a run-up, um, I tell them to abbreviate the run-up, keep it short. The factory wants 200 degree cylinder head temperature prior to takeoff, and it doesn't take very long to get that temperature with a brand new engine. So keep the mag check kind of brief, prop a wooden cycle at more than a couple hundred RPM. As soon as that's done, immediately power back. Don't leave that power in there while you're looking at all the instruments. Power back. As soon as you get your temperature, do your takeoff. Um, usually it requires more of, a, of an en route cruise climb to keep the speed up to keep the temperatures in check. If your cylinder head temperatures start getting, you know, close to 400, 395 and you want to cool it, you can either lower the nose, obviously, and get a little more speed, or you can hit the, the boost pump, shoot a little more gas to it, and that'll cool it also. At altitude, normally I tell everybody that 7,500 feet and below is kind of where we break the engines in because you want to have 75% power, and you can usually carry that up to about 7,500 feet. Um, so you'll have wide open throttle, say at 7,500 feet, adjust the mixture to give you that 380 on the hottest cylinder. That's a good temperature for the entire life of this engine. Keep the temperature at 380 below and you'll get maximum longevity out of the cylinders. So in cruise, where the Katmai has bush wheels and it's slower than the Kenai, it takes more fuel to keep it cool. And I would say wide open throttle on a Katmai at 7,500 feet, it's going to require probably 20 gallons an hour through the break-in period until the ring seat to keep those temperatures down. The same engine in a Kenai is probably going to require 17 and a half gallons an hour because of the additional airflow over the engine. Uh, once the engine seats in, those temperatures will come down and then it's not an issue. But during the break-in period, be very, very conscious of where your temperatures are going. Um, on descent, I, can't, I just really don't like pushing the nose over, throttling back quickly on a descent. On a new engine, I like a longer descent under partial power. I think it's a little bit easier on the engine. And if you treat the engine right during the break-in process, it'll give you a lot of longevity. Most of these engines go to 2,000 hours and you'll be fine.